This video is brought to you by Rocket Money and Babbel. More on them after the reaction, people. Citizens of the Reject Nation, I'm your boy Aaron. This is Andrew. Hello, we are here to watch Straight Outta Compton today, starring the group NWA. Andrew, do you know who NWA is? Yeah, they're a country uh, group, right? Yeah, anyway, uh, do you know what it stands for? Maybe. Don't say that. All right. Today, we're watching NWA, as I just said. Uh, but you guys, if you've seen this movie, leave a like, leave a comment. Let us know your favorite NWA song, and we will tell you ours at the end of the reaction. Like, subscribe, ring that dang bell, because that's how we get attention. That's how we get the notifications. Thank you to Prepper for editing down these highlights. You guys are greatly appreciated over there, doing the good old work. Also, go over to the Patreon, where Greg and John do several shows over there. We can sync up with your own copy of any show movie all that jazz everything they do over there all right without further ado and you ready to get out of compton let's get into it you are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge that's right uh 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 uh, me and Andrew over here about to watch the movie. We riding on the beat, going nice and groovy. It's time while the movie do his thing. Over here, I'm going to rap and Andrew's going to sing. Yeah, you got to sing. This is the part where you sing words, Andrew. Uh, no, we don't want to scare the people away. <laughs> Save that when I'm drunk on karaoke night. Look forward to it. 86, nice. Compton 86, okay. Who is it? You know who it is. It's the Monopoly guy. What's up, guys? What's up, homie? Hey. Hey. It's easy. So what's up with you in this cold knocking and asking me to say my name at the door? Never know. Cause I don't trust you, mom. What you trying to do? Oh, you ain't heard? Best runner got cracked. Sent his young ass up to YA. That's sad. They got to do with me. Hey, Tasha. I'm right here. <laughs> hey, get this dude a four. Hurry up. Y'all look thirsty? Here. I just said I wasn't thirsty. Oh, Damn. Uh, Disrespecting them in their own house. Oh, you got to be so rude for her. Right. Where my money? Where the money at? You being so disrespectful in my house for? What you mad See? about, bro? You been in a scenario like this, Andrew? All the time. <laughs> Any day that ends in Y. <laughs> oh, damn. Hey, you can't just roll up into the house coming on 100 like that. So bottom line is we short. So you gonna have to let us hold on to that. Well, my people sitting right across the street from your mama house right now. Cause if I don't show up, they gonna show out. Greenleaf, right? That's the street she stay on? You really wanna take it there? You already took it there. Bro, you ain't in position to be putting out threats like that. You got a room full of people with guns pointed at you. Man, the tone this is already setting. Is it a police raid? Hey, hey, get to the back, run. Hey, look at Yo. Oh. Wow, this is so tense. Jesus. Wow, it was like that in the 80s? You get a face on the battery. Oh, Damn. wow. Damn. Couldn't knock first? No. Just had to take the battering ram? <gasps> ah, probably just cut his hand wide open, but he's like, I don't care. No, something tells me he isn't too concerned about that right now. <laughs> what a way to start a movie. All right. Wow. Tone is set. I'm surprised I've never seen this movie. It's almost 10 years old at this point. Uh... Mm. Well, yeah, when uh, did it come out? 17 uh, or 18? Uh, uh. Yes, LA Dodgers represent. Dr. Dre. Oh, he was in the zone. Oh, yeah. Do you even care how it makes me look? Called in favors to get your thoughtless ass an interview and you can't even show oh, up. Oh, I got so caught up in this DJ stuff, I, I forgot. Spinning records ain't paying none of the bills around here. Not yet. $50. So that makes you rich? It's a start. In 86, that wasn't a bad amount of money. 
Now, I don't even care if you are a janitor. As long as I own the company, I know, I know. But you don't own the company. Lonzo does. You don't care what I'm fighting for. You don't see the vision. I already know what I want to do with my life. And it definitely ain't sitting in some cubicle taking orders on a bullshit-ass job. I'm Shut up! Ooh! I'm going to slap the taste out your mouth, boy. Now, I worked my ass off to get us here, and I refuse to let you throw it all away. It's his decision at the end of the day, but I feel you. Yeah, the thing about parents, they view their children as an extension of them. So any f success or failure, more particularly failure, you know, as a reflection of their own identity. So there has to be a point where you view your kids as their own independent entities. You know, their failure or success is not reflective of you. They're their own person. You know, Mom, she just, she just wants the best for you. Hey, I know that, T. But check this out. I want the best for me, too. I mean, I got to go. Your definitions are not the same. She only know one way of doing it. You see a different path for yourself. When I get set up right, I'm going to bring you with me. I don't even worry about it. I'm going to have you in Miami. Fun fact, I have never been to Florida. It's hot and humid. I and still want I still want to go sometime, at least visit Miami. Just looking at that shot right there, giving me that vibe from Friday. Which I know, same director, F. Gary Gray. This song I know, <laughs> Tears for Fears. His, man, he looked just like his dad, bro. I know, that's Ice Cube's son. Yeah. I'm directing on your best behavior. I love this song. It's the only R song he'll know. <laughs> it's the only song in the whole movie. <laughs> Shit, writing rhymes. You a poet now? The flyest one you know. Yes, sir. <laughs> Okay. Well, it's interesting too because this movie takes place in '86. It was the year before this was a fantastic comedy with Val Kilmer called Real Genius. It's at the end of that film you hear that song. Ah. Uh, uh oh. You messed with the wrong. Don't get quiet now. Nope. All that shit y'all throwing up out the window? You didn't think we saw that, huh? Let me see how you do that shit again. Let me see. I was just playing, man. I swear I was only playing, man. You think out here playing? Ooh! Huh? That every day. This ain't a game. Y'all motherfuckers need to bang them books instead of trying to be something y'all ain't. Shit, you never know. Because I might be the one to kill your motherfucking asses. It's a really intense tone so far. OG two-tone. Crenshaw Mafia, bro. Ooh. Whenever I'm watching biopics, you know, I'm like wondering, like, what's the ratio of the events that actually happened versus like what's dramatized? Yeah. And I wonder, like, I can imagine something like that happening. Maybe not the exact way, but if like they were really running it like like that back then, like, yeah, the gangs are the gangs are top. You know? That was that was a good transition. Okay, turntables. <laughs> That's pretty, that's dope. How's he only making 50 bucks doing that? That's sick. Because it's the 80s, it's not, it's not really appreciated. Hip hop isn't really appreciated in the same way. It's still evolving. It's still a, a growing art form at this point in time. That shit up, right? <laughs> Yo. That shit was dope, homie. Yeah, you're smart not to listen to your mom. <laughs> follow your dreams the when you're that good. Talent, you know? Yeah, when you're that good at something, follow your dreams. You ready for dudos? Shit, is dudos ready for me? You know that's Compton, right? They got body bags at the door. Yo ass better bring it. If you don't, you might end up in one for real. And tell your moms to fix this AC. Now what are you doing here, homeless? Hey man, I'm just trying to get home, man. I'm not even doing nothing. Dude, he just he just walked out of his house. These boys, they all grew up on this block. That's my son. You I will ruin your f***ing night. Man, you ain't got to talk to my moms like that. Shut the f*** up. Wow. This is disgusting. I'm this on my property. No. I can stand right here. You got that? We right here. Where you got the f***ing raps, homeboy? And not everybody's slinging dope, man. Like, be professional about your job, you disgusting f***. Why, wow, you have your hand on the gun? He's unarmed. Stay out of trouble. Get out of here. Get out of here. Head home. Do it, shit. I'm sure it was like that in the 80s, too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. 
their own like, personal experiences with the police, plus like the events that happened in the 90s, like lead to their rise. And yeah, they're, they're a powerful force during that time. I look in your eyes and I see a Capricorn. I, I mean, I, I, you know, I can look at a girl Jay and Yellow. I know their sign. <laughs> see, I look at someone's ID and I know their signs. Hey, I'm gonna go outside, make sure nothing's popping off. I want you to keep these fat asses shaking. Don't play none of that street ass rap shit, all right? I want these motherfuckers to think about put, not pistols. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Andrew. Yellow, huh? I saw you talking to my lady, man. Keep your motherfucking hands to yourself. That was a very nice way about saying that. I would have been much more hostile. <laughs> I got my little homie. He about to come and bust a little rhyme for y'all. I want y'all to give it up for uh. ice, mother. Cube. Yeah. yeah. Ice Cube would like to say that I'm a crazy mother from around the way. Taking a life for two, that's what the hell I do. You don't like how I'm living? Well, fuck you. Because I'm the type of get ass built to last. If you with me, I put my foot in your ass. I don't give a because I don't keep going. Yo, what the fuck are they yelling? It's interesting watching the evolution of rap from this point in the 80s with what he was doing and like you see that there's this this thing where like they enunciate all of their words to try to get that that rhyme scheme in and i feel like there's a lot more slanting in today's music you saw they went crazy for that shit don't worry about my business all right you just remember the only reason you up on that stage is because i put you up on that mother stage so ungrateful there's a lot of cats that'll come in here and they'll play exactly what i want them to play like cats that understand that you don't bite the hand that feeds you now you take a back seat to that shit hip-hop still it's not it's not mainstream like a like it was well like like it is now i mean no of course but if the audience is loving it then what up what's up man Look, i heard you been um spending some time at your auntie house how's the couch like too tall for that shit <laughs> plus i got my woman and baby living there it's hard Switching over to music. What you think about dumping some money into this music shit? Hey, look, I got some ideas. Hey, hey. Think about it. What? what? Get him on the hell, no. Hey, don't be with my little... Oh, Ooh. shit. Woo. That was clean. Hey, we told everybody to clear this parking lot. Let's we go. just standing here. What's going on? Gang of the law. You feel? Right, That's what he said? Get the fuck off. I am home. Mmm. If you don't start walking, or what? Yeah, what, do you, <laughs> what are you arresting him for? Stop resisting, boy! You think it's, uh, it's a little of this, Andrew. But I was thinking about what you were saying last night, though, man. It's interesting. How long do you think that shit you're doing out there gonna last? Because it ain't no happy endings in that game, man. Yeah. You can slang, you can slang records, man. It's easy. You got a mind for that shitty. Eh? Sounds like a better investment. Yeah. My boy DOC coming in from Dallas. Dope. My little homie we're in rap too. Oh yeah. Hey, look, I got these cats. HBO, homeboys only from New York. Dope voices, man. That's where the network came up with the name. Start a label, or something, man. Huh? What would you call a record label like that? Ruthless. It's like these fucking police. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. What the f is ganking? And what's a six four? Yeah, it's a car. <laughs> Ganking is when you jack somebody, man. Uh, it's not a big deal. And that's what New Yorkers dressed like back then, yeah. Hey, y'all got something to say about Compton? Because we might have a problem up in this bitch. <laughs> huh? No? Stop embarrassing me, man. Yeah, man, I ain't, I ain't with this shit. Yeah, man, I'm with this shit. Wearing a Kango don't make you LL Cool J. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do, Mark ass nigga? They ready to crack a bottle on them. B Street looking motherfucker. Jerry Curl ass. Keep talking that bullshit on your way out. <laughs> <laughs> There's anything we gonna do is gonna talk smack. How the f we supposed to make a record label and hit records and we ain't got no talent? We talking about the talent's all in this room right now. I mean, you said you hold up my talent. side of the deal. You said put some money up. So it's time for you to deliver. Why don't you do this shit, eh? <laughs> Why don't you do it? It's your money. You paying for it. No, I can't, because I'm not a rapper. I'm in a group already, man. Jinxing them would trip on me if I do anything. But I'm the very Gordy of this shit. Mm. So whenever y'all figure out what y'all want to do, just let me know. <laughs> I love this. You the only one with a 6'4"? You got a 6'4"? I don't have a car. You got a 6'4"? Impala. <laughs> Pope Porsche, man. Come on, man. Get in the booth, E. But you the businessman, so you know. It's on you. We got a cold-ass song, though. I think you could hit that shit. I'm not so, Dre. Just gonna sit there, 
You're kind of being a hoe right now, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Cruising down the street in my six fold. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. It's all worth it for that reaction. You good? Just hit that first beat hard, man. You gotta come in on beat. Cruising down the street. You cruising. I like how he didn't have it off the top. Like show that he he had to find how to rap. Like, I feel like most movies, like he does it on the very first try. He's not a Mary Sue. Yep. Cruising down the street in my six four. Shit, that ain't it. <laughs> You gotta go if we gonna do this. Cube, you gotta go. <laughs> Both of y'all. You talking uh, to me? Bye. Go, Cube. And y'all like, get the f me out of here, man. Yeah, so we can get this shit right. done. Right, putting too much pressure on him. You see how you said that shit, right? Like you believe it? Yeah, I believe that shit. Then say this shit like you believe it, man. Sunday, and you cruising down Crenshaw in a motherfucking six foot. Like he's directing him. Yeah. He's playing him to his strengths. Cruising down the street in my six foot. Oh. Yeah! Shit. Hey, that was dope. Yo! Stretching up the court, said the judge. On a six-year sentence, my, my man, man didn't budge. Then came Sue. The bitch came in with a submachine. Both upstate for attempted murder. Because the boys in the hood always... That was a movie, Boys in the Hood. Nothing in life but to be legit. Don't quote me, boy, because I ain't saying shit. Is this your first time hearing this song? Oh, no. I grew up with this song. <laughs> Oh, you're being, you're making a joke. Yeah, 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 totally. I just felt it, you know. I feel yeah. Intrinsically. Hey, Dre did a great job, like play, again, playing him to his strengths, directing him. Sound like some waste of time shit to me. Look, this trust guy's me, this such shit a ain't Debbie Downer. All right, you ain't gonna get no radio play He's with a this hater. shit right there. Oh, for real? Oh, for yeah, for very real. You're always gonna have haters and non-believers. Of course. Just don't keep them in your orbit. Rap shit y'all trying to do, talking about low riders in jail. Don't nobody want to hear that shit. Now you need to get back in there and work on that slow jam that we worked on. And I'm serious. Yeah, old head, you don't get it. Well, y'all love it, and he's the only one that doesn't like it. Don't listen to him. 20 years from now, you're going <laughs> to fucking thank me. What? Nigga, 20 years from now, you still going to be recording love songs in this dusty-ass garage. <laughs> 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 Wrap this shit up. He's just an ungrateful ass, right, Andrew? Whatever you say. <laughs> Whoa, that's so cool watching how it's being made, how records are being made. Yeah, getting watching it get pressed. You got to spend money to make money. Zion says shit. And I got to give it up to my boy, Dr. Dre, who's coming with Compton's very own Easy e And you're listening to Boys in the Hood. I, I, I really want to see that movie. I have also not seen Boys in the Hood. All right, we're, put it on our list. I know blasphemy. I haven't seen it. So, I think I saw it when I was like yeah. three or four, and people are like, what? Paul Giamatti? I'm Jerry <laughs> What? We've got a negotiator reunion, F. Gary Gray and Paul Giamatti. I'm thrown off. Would it be possible to have a word with you for a second, Eric? About what? About music. Yeah, I'm sure F. Gary Gray loved working with him and the negotiator. So, like, let's work again together. I will make you legit. It seems... As if I could do something for you. Man's a negotiator. See what I did there? I worked with Elton John. I worked with Otis Redding. Otis! I worked with War. I worked with Sticks. Have you worked with anybody this decade? <laughs> I can get you in that building, and I will protect you. I will block out all the noise of this crazy business, and we can build something big. Do you trust him? I don't know yet. If you can handle it... If it's too much pressure for you, then fine. I'm listening. You got more music for me? Come on, Andrew. How could you not trust that wig? Absolutely. Good. Because you were going to have to follow this up. Quick. Now, what does NWA stand for, huh? Didn't you ask me that earlier? Let us know. Let them know, Andrew. What does it stand uh, for? I'll let them. But no. <laughs> Niggas with attitude. That's what he's, right. What he said. That, that's a wonderful shot right there. Skateland? Yo! Is that the Skateland in Northridge, or are we still in Compton? I imagine we're still in Compton, because Skateland didn't look like that. Also, it's gone. It, has, it, it got yeah, extinct after there the... There was a Skateland in Northridge I used to go to all the time. Yeah, it's not there anymore. No. Are we getting paid to wear all black? Look, I ain't looking out for your ass no more, man. Put this on. <laughs> oh, shit. Let go Mr. Drummond. Like that they got Los Angeles Raiders stuff on. 
because the Raiders were in LA in the 80s. This man been out there shopping our stuff around, trying to get money for Ruthless. He trying to get us distribution. All he do is take 20 off the top. They want NWA? Let's give them NWA. Let's go get this money. Yeah. Get it. That is so cool. Wait, are we, are we going to address how Ice Cube went from his original group to now this group? I don't think we are. I think you just said, screw them. It was once said by a man who couldn't quit. Man, please, can I have another hit? It all happened in the guy trying to choke her. He didn't care. What is this huddle of music? That's the way it goes. That's the name of the game. <laughs> Young brothers getting over by slanging K. It's the type of music they're uh, used to. He's making money, keep the base heads waiting. Roll six foes with the fresh ass dog. He's begging for credit, he's knocking out teeth. Clocking much dollars on the first and 15. Uh. To be a dope man, boy, you must qualify. Don't get high, no surprise. From a key to a G, it's all about money. People out there not hip to the fact if you see somebody getting money for that, he's the. We've got a gold mine. Jerry, you're my friend, but Compton? I don't think so. Queens, maybe. Listen, if you find the next Bon Jovi, call me, okay? Good luck. All right. Thanks for coming. Sure thing. Yeah. Yeah. You can see on his face, like, you're just walking away from a gold mine. Tripping off them knowing the words though. That shit was crazy. Oh. Hey yo, I'm telling you, Compton is definitely amazing. on the map, yo. Damn right. I want to experience that one day. What's up, sir? Man, I just been back and forth, man. Sure. Doing some security yeah. bodyguard work. Oh, if y'all need my services, let me know. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna need no bodyguards, man. Like, you might got yeah. that covered. Yeah. <laughs> right. Say that but now. You never know what you need until you need it. True. Mm. So good night is ruthless. Brian runs Priority Records. He wants to sign you. Yeah, immediately. I mean, what you got? Uh, yeah, we represent uh, nothing big, but uh, mostly yeah. R&B. Who that? It's what? the California Raisins. <laughs> Commercial singing, I heard it through the grapevine and shit. <laughs> Sounds like they're not interested. Nah. I gotta tell you, those little fuckers, they went gold last year. Gold? gold. Yeah, yeah, almost platinum. Or maybe now they are. What do you say, fellas? You wanna go make a record? I mean... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Once, once they heard the word gold, that was the seller. Straight out of Compton recording session, Torrance, California. Ran up. Get him ran. Yeah. Get that shit ran. Yeah. 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 Let's see. Oh, hey, yellow. What do you think? Is it going to be a little bit of a struggle? Huh? Ruthless, plenty of that and much more. So at the party, Ran is controlling the floor. Let you step and do your dance routine. Guess not. <laughs> it's interesting seeing the evolution of like rap cadences because they all have like they all have their own individual like accents or like idiosyncrasies and how they deliver the words but there's like this universal cadence in which they all kind of ride since this point in the 80s like rap has just evolved in so many different directions uh. Our deal with Priority Records is done. Yes! Yeah. Okay. Contracts right here for you to sign. So what's up with our contracts, though? They're getting done right now. Lawyers yeah, are Yeah, Jerry, them up. on top of that, but did you yeah. just switch all the straws? Yeah, he seems mainly interested in, in Easy E, not the rest of the group. Well, come on here, busting my f***ing ass day and f***ing night trying to create something. You gonna come up in here talking about some f***ing bitches? Are you crazy? You don't get it. No, you don't get it, LaVetta. Tyra's gonna be okay, all right? Daddy love you. Dang, his girl left him. What happened, Dre? What'd she say? What'd you do? Oh, <laughs> shit. Here we go again. Jesus. You're supposed to be somewhere? Here. We working. what we do? We'll find out in a minute what you did. What's this? Hey, shut the f up. Are they just not allowed to be outside? Is that the law? Get on the ground. On the ground? What's you supposed to do with this? On the ground. You know, hold this hog? What we do? Hey. Look at this. Get out. What? So sit tight and let us do our job. Hey, officer, I'm sorry. What is going Sir, on out? can you stay right there, please? We're trying to check these bangers, oh. make sure they're clean. All right. Ugh. I'm sorry. These are not bangers, okay? These are artists. Yeah. Oh, Uncle Tom? They're working with me in the studio right now. Well, see, rap yeah. is not an art. Oh, you're wasting your time, Mr. Manager. You gotta be kidding me. You're wasting your time. Really? If Mr. Potato Head don't get out of here, bro. This is disgusting. 
You cannot come down here and harass these guys because they're black. Huh? White, save them! Step, step to... back. Right, step back. I'll step back. You let them up. Get up, guys. Mm. Come on, Eric. Ooh. Oh, oh shit. I'm stepping we back. We will decide that. You have no idea. The people I know, I'm going to call the mayor's office. Step back. You can't white save them this time. <sighs> it's pissing me off. Okay. And come you on, keep guys. your people in line. You yep. understand? And the out of Torrance. Come on. You got a problem? Sir, my jersey. Oh, Uncle Ruckus ass cop. You got something Q? to say? Q? You got something to say, boy? Ooh, I'm a fight. I'm a fight him. <laughs> boy. You Woo! shut the fuck up. Hey. What the fuck? Back inside. That is. Uh, I think he's. I think Paul Giamatti's legitimate. I think yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah, for sure. I think, so I think he's so, good. So far, yeah, for sure. Giving a great performance too. Police coming straight from the underground. A young got it back because I'm brown. Other color, so police think they have the authority to kill a minority. That shit, cause I. Damn, he's really gotten good. Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 hey. Crenshaw. I gotta tell you, you are witnessing history. LA's first supergroup, NWA, with a new album straight out of Compton. Hey! It's the name of the movie. Yes, it is, Andrew. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Damn. They getting Man. the crowds now. Yeah. Mm. You got to let me come fuck with y'all in Miami. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> now you trying to partake in some of those fat asses. Come on, bro. I'm tired of these. Oh, it's his brother, huh? Because you know you got school. And you know she ain't gonna let you miss that many days, man. She stay a little ass out of trouble. I call you when I'm on the way to Miami, see about getting you on a flight. I can come out there, though? You can come out here, you man. You promise? I, I got you. I don't know Dr. Dre's story, but I feel like something tragic's gonna happen with his brother. Don't tell me, though. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm looking for my girl, Felicia. Oh. Oh. Mind if I take a look? Oh. Get the f*** out of my room, man. Oh, uh, maybe that's not Felicia. Oh shit. Hey yo. Damn, in front of the crew? This is, this is a cool tracking shot. Yeah, dude, this is a great tracking shot. The life was about it like back then. Oh shoot. Time to go to work. Oh my god. This is an amazing tracking shot. Y'all looking for Felicia? Yo, they ready. She in there what? Oh, man. She kind of preoccupied with some real Say, little I said she got a mother in her Oh, I ain't yeah. no more? Yeah. Whoa. With the power come that, come that heat. With the money and the power come the heat. <laughs> Is that where the quote came from? No, it comes from Friday. Homies all standing around, just hanging. Some dealing, some gang banging. We decide to roll and we deep. I had my shotgun pointed in the window. He got scared and hit the gas. Right then, I knew I had to smoke his ass. Sorry. I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news. What you got? Mother FBI. What? Oh. A song recorded by the rap group NWA on their album encourages violence against law enforcement. Advocating violence and assault is wrong, and we in the law enforcement community take exception to such us, action. But us racially profiling is okay. Because this is a warning, Cube. I think uh, maybe we should not play that song right not now. Not play what? But right. we can't let them censor us. I'm not advocating for censorship, wait, wait, Cube. Dude, maybe none of us should be worried. Maybe we should be happy. I don't know about that. You see this right here? Is a gift. We're big enough that we're on their radar. They talk about it in their music. We take this to the press and we show them what type of intimidation, discrimination, mm. and harassment that we're dealing with from our government. Use it. It kind of validates what the their music. 
Ain't that some shit? Speak a little truth and people lose their minds. Shit, the truth is, they can do whatever they want with it. I was gonna say, you're buying it they just to... Yeah, see? You're buying it just to destroy it? Just don't listen to it. <laughs> You still spend money on it, right? They're going in their pockets either way. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, if someone buys something of mine, do with what you want. You just got to slow down. You can't f every broad on the planet. Oh, well, you can try. Well, what's up? E, where the contract's at, man? You forgot about me? Didn't I tell you to, you know what? The contracts are being finalized as we speak. The thing is, with these attorneys, they'll take forever. Are they talking about the ones that they talked about at the very beginning? I imagine it's a re-up at this point, because more time has passed. But yeah, because they're in 1989 now. I just want to know what's going on, since I did write a lot of lyrics on this record. Everybody knows how important you are. They do? That's what's going on. We just need some time. Well, I really hope he doesn't get screwed. I obviously don't know the story of NWA, but I know Ice Cube made it pretty well, acting and rap music and all that, but... I'm curious what happens here. No, but don't make sense. It's easy and Jerry eating steak and lobster and we eating fat burger. Shit don't make no sense. I hear you, but I think we need to ride this wave. Don't be jumping to conclusions until you know for sure. Yeah, but is easy taking a lot of the profit and giving you guys, like, hardly anything? A uh -oh. page? Is that his brother or is what his woman and his baby? Maybe it's his brother. Yeah, I was going to say probably his brother. Mom's just caught, man. It's Tyree. He's dead. Aww. Got into a fight. Broke his neck. Broke his neck. Oh, man. Now he's going to feel guilty that he didn't watch over him, take care of him. Tyree going to always be with you, no matter what. We always going to be brothers. <laughs> man. Your brother looked up to you, and you took great care of him. We both did. It's time to let someone else take care of him now. I wonder if, uh, if Dr. Dre still feels this, this guilt today over what happened to his brother back then. Or if he's made peace with it, but it's not his fault, but I definitely understand why he would feel that way. Of course. No person shall disturb the peace by participating or abetting in any rude, indecent, riotous, or violent conduct. The performance of the song, F the Police, will not be permitted. So you can't use your First Amendment rights. Okay. Are we finished here? We got a show to do. Just watch yourself. It's extremely fascist. And they still gonna do it? And get arrested and it's only gonna yeah. fuel their message. You the What are they gonna do? Get arrested on stage? <laughs> and that love's gonna go to his head. All right, we got the F the Police song right now. Yup. Because they're just standing there watching like, don't you, don't you do well, it. Also, too, this would you be. The, better not. This would be the talk of the nation if they get arrested, too, on stage right now. Yeah. It's probably going to be after the show. What's up? But if they do get arrested on the show, that would be crazy. They going to do it. <laughs> yeah. The publicity, like you said, they're going to get. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what time it is. Yo, Drake. Oh, here we go. Police coming straight from the underground. A young body bad because I'm brown. And not the other color, so police. They had the authority to kill a minority. <laughs> Touching my car, looking for the product, thinking every is selling narcotics. You rather see me in the pen than me and Lorenzo rolling in the Benzo. Be the police. Oh, they gonna arrest him. Oh, uh, they're ready for it though. Oh yeah. Hold off bread and water. I don't know what the facts are what. So yeah, they grab it. And on the other hand, without a gun, they can't get none. Are they gonna arrest him on stage? No way. Down to the street, top black police showing out for the white cop. Ooh! Swarm on any 
nigga in the blue uniform. Nah, yeah, yeah, Paul. Jerry's on board. Shit. Yo, that's crazy. No way this really happened. Ooh, I got chills right now. I but like what are you arresting oh, them man. for? Oh wow. You have to have a charge to arrest them for saying speech you don't like. That's see, you can't just arrest someone because you don't like what they say. That's not okay. <laughs> they have the power. Yeah, There's definitely an abuse of power back then. There weren't like the body cams and regulations there were today, you know. Wow, I had no idea it was like this. Yes. Yeah, I mean, no, I'm just saying in terms of NWA and all this shit. I oh, no yeah. Idea. I didn't know they got arrested like this either. I mean, it makes sense. Playing inciting a riot in Detroit. We didn't incite that shit. Like, y'all just got a snapshot of how Americans really feel. We gave the people a voice. Mm. Your songs, they glamorize the lifestyle of gangs, guns, drugs. Our art is a reflection of our reality. Good answer. That part. You get AKs from Russia and cocaine from Colombia. It ain't none of us got a passport, so yeah. <laughs> might want to check the source. Spin facts. Question. Will you be more careful about what you say, how you say it? No. Nah. Freedom of speech includes rap music, right? That part. We exercise in our First Amendment, as far as I'm concerned. And the government wrote that. First Amendment. What's the guy from Compton do when he starts making real money like this? He's not making real money. Buy Raider gear and curl activator. <laughs> This is gonna be a problem, like easy. You are scamming your team, dude. Yeah, they're taking all the profits. Him and Jerry. I know that you've been very eager to sign a contract. Eric's company, Ruthless Record. And it's your company too? That's incorrect, it's not my company. I work for you. All right, cool, so I could take this to a lawyer or somebody, right? I would. I would take it to an attorney. Yeah, of course. You know I don't know what none of this legal shit mean. All right, none of us do. We're gonna need a lawyer before we sign anything. Everybody else has already signed. <gasps> No. I thought you knew this. You're the only one who hasn't. Oh, wow. He's, he's suspicious. There's also this. How much? $75,000. Oh, my. He's worth so much more than that. Yeah. You sign the contract, and all this money is yours. That's my money anyway, Jerry. I earned that money. And I wrote a lot of his songs. Yep. We've been performing on this yeah. tour for months, selling out shows, selling records. I know it's plenty of money. <laughs> Give me my money, Jerry. How the hell do you think this works? Yeah, I guess Jerry's not as genuine and earnest as we thought. If we were so good, why didn't you give us contracts in the beginning? Because nothing is a sure thing. Even a great talent can crash and burn. Too much ego, too much excess tends to ruin things. You ought to keep that in mind. You want to see if they would fail or not before you committed to them financially. Bye, Jerry. I'm out. Smart. Man, cube bluff NWA. You gonna keep this momentum going or what? Oh, man, not like this. I'd rather be broke than to get... I told you not to sign that shit, Dre. I got bills to pay. They go take care of you. You they bread and butter. Q, we ruthless. We NWA. They ruthless. So you're leaving the group? Yeah, I'm through with the bullshit. Easy put everything on Jerry. Jerry put everything on Easy. It's a two-man show up there. Ain't no group. I mm. You are walking away from a winning situation. Now, how do you feel about this, Kim? Is he making a big mistake? A mistake? Yes. I don't think so. Alexandria Ship. I just want you to understand, there's not a lot of money in this solo play. But if the first record hits, I will make it up to you on the second one. Be ready, Brian. These records is coming in fast. Yee. Hey, back to motherfucking. That's why I'm sick of getting treated like a goddamn stepchild. Punk, cause I ain't here. They try to keep me from running up. I never tell you to get down. It's all about coming up. Well, I definitely get why Ice Cube was skeptical. Yeah. You know, he felt like it was unfair. You know, like, and yeah, everyone, he wasn't like willing to just be blind to sign a contract. And like, yeah, you don't know how they're going to Well, the other you. guys were so desperate for money, they just signed it. Yeah, they're not thinking about longevity. Hey, we're moving up to the next level. Okay. You know what? Sit down for two seconds. Look, we need to keep Dre happy. Yeah. 
This is this. Uh. I mean, I get it, Jerry. He drowning in shit, but that don't mean that he. You you worry too much. Stop. Oh, uh, Jerry's now his. You were right. You're right not to trust Jerry. I told you, man. I never trust managers in movies. Oh, in general. Always looking to make that top dollar. Here, sign some checks. You know, the fact is, Ren is as good a writer as Cube. Maybe even better. We got everything covered, just the last one. We finished here, Jay? We're finished. It sucks, too, because I really wanted to like him. Yeah. Do you know about, like, where everyone is today? What? Do you know about where everyone is in NDFA today? Not, not really? Uh, not really. Okay. Now I'm only telling you what you told me. If America's Most Wanted blew up, you pay me the advance for the follow-up. Now, is that not what the... Said. That is what I said, but it is more complicated. These guys are just... I got a baby on the way, and a house I just paid for up the strength of what you told me. I gave you the product, give me my money, Brian, and you making it seem like I'm begging for some shit that's technically mine. My hands are tired, man. This is disgusting. This is pissing me off. They're almost as bad, just as bad as the police. It's dirty business, getting screwed on all sides. Priority record. What's he about to do with that bat? What's he about to do? Should have kept your word, Brian. Jesus Christ, man! What the f you doing, like, dude? What the f Did he really do this? I want to know. You think I give a f about these records? I'll put up these records. This is my shit. No, I know that, dude. I fucked you up first. I want to know if he actually did this. Take it out what you owe me. Dude, everything. Screwed him the first time, screwed him the second time. It's right. like, you got, come he on. got screwed by Easy E. He's not about to screw it. Screw it again. He's not playing that. Q, man, nigga ain't shit. How you figure, man? His record the hottest shit out right now, eh? Wow. Yeah, man, for real. Q killed that shit. So we supposed to just sit there. What you talking about? I like that shit. Clown Why you drunk shit. all the goddamn time? You need to get your shit together. Use a artist. Wow, so egos and scamming ripped this group apart. DOC was in an accident. What? Oh. Actually, didn't be a lie. Got thrown out of the car, hit a tree. Whoa. But his throat got crushed. Oh, my God. Damn. What you know about Jerry? What you think about him? He all right? I guess. <sighs> what about your paperwork? You cool with that? I think. Uh, you don't know anything about it. He didn't become a businessman until later. Yep. Look, I just focus on the music, sure. You see that, motherfucker? Gotta make sure it don't happen to you, man. It's a dirty business. Maybe some of your people can look into my paperwork, too. Most definitely. Got the range. So Mike trying to stand by his boys, trying to stand by his people. Jerry out here trying to screw him over. Mm. It's NWA's new record. Oh, talking about Cube? Are they trying to say that you're like a traitor? Yeah. Uh oh. I ain't say shit about them on America's Most Wanted. Now they trying to diss? <laughs> Nah. Wow. Hey, you guys started it. Wow. <laughs> this is almost like wrestling. Defect yeah, from a team yeah, to fight against. I, I didn't know he did this. It's like very direct. Like, screw you, NWA. You're getting real quick and easy. It's not like MC Wynn shit. Trying to tell you a Oh, shouldn't have poked the bear. Cut my hand, I cut them books. I heard you like giving up the draws. Gang by your manager, fella, get money. Yeah, Easy's pissing me off, and Jerry. Now you act like you don't know me. Damn. Hey, hey, damn. Whoa. It was very direct. Oh, man, I never heard that song before. Yo, what we about to do? First thing we're going to do, we're going to sue this ignorant. That's what we're gonna do. I don't you know, defamation of character libel, I don't really care. The anti-Semitic piece of shit. It's just a song. You know what? I'll call my friends at the JDL. All right, niggas don't even know what anti-Semitic means anyways. Battle rap. Come on, Eric, we gotta get organized. We gotta fight this kind of ignorant bullshit. You know what? I always knew that he was a hateful human being. You're the hateful one. We could just go to the studio and just end his career anyway. Oh my God. You do that. You call Dre and you guys go do that. Do something. Really good guy there, Jerry. Who work for who? What? You mm. questioning that? Mm. <laughs> Ooh. My position is solidified. Don't never Ooh. question that shit. Wow. The tensions are rising. What that ruthless like? Ruthless. This lynch mob. Whoa. Oh, oh. 
Oh, damn. Yo. Whoa. Whoa, they were really about it. Oh, my God. We've all seen the pictures of Los Angeles police officers beating a man they had just pulled over. The city's police chief said today he will support criminal charges against some of the men. Here's ABC's Gary Shepard. At least we got the was on video. Yeah. LAPD gonna have a real good time on that level three prison yard. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we should try to get back to work. We are working, Jerry. I'm having a word with my client. Man, hold up, man. We got this. Yeah, no one, they weren't on tape. No one was monitoring them so they can do whatever they wanted back then. It was the first thing I said about him. Do you trust him? Uh-oh. Is that Suge? Help you with something? This your house? Who's asking? Oh. That actor looks so familiar. You're with uh, Suge Knight? Someone else? Ice Cube? Have yourself a good night, Jerry. Mm. It's about Jerry. We gotta cool. get rid of that. I thought all this shit was in the past, Dre. I had some people look into this. I ain't been getting my fair share. Do you even know why you rich, though? Because Jerry made that possible for us. No. You was right, fool. Hey, look at the papers, man, and you'll see what the I'm talking about. Man, you keep talking about Jerry this, Jerry that. We didn't make it because of Jerry. We made it because our shit is dope. Yeah. Amen. Man, we started this NWA shit. Just wanted to be right. And this is what you think, right? Turning your back on somebody after all they done for us. You mean all he done for you? Mmm. Using the lobsters. The well, they're eating fat burger. When Tyree died, you said we was always going to be brothers. I guess you forgot about that. Ego and greed got in the way. Thought we were brothers, man. I wonder how long they would have stayed together as a group if not for Easy and, and Jerry. Jerry. Probably a long, long time. Probably with the money didn't get involved. Yeah. Man, this shit sound good. Yeah. None of it means anything while I'm on the contract with Rufus. I told you about that. I'm gonna get you out of your contracts, I promise you. Keep intimidating Jerry, <laughs> right? Yeah. What up? Yeah, what up, Trey? Oh, wow. What's up, man? Chill, man. Wait. Here, you. So, look, I listened to your demo. It's tight. Oh, it's Lakeith. It's Lakeith Stanfield. You see that little look you gave me? Yeah. Like, it's sick. Yo, 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 hold up. Who the f is this guy? Oh, my bad, Shug. This the homie Snoop. Oh, shit! What? Snoop D O double G, cuz. Ah! Who you? Oh, oh hey, damn! Hold on, hold on, hold on. He with me. Hey, yo. He ain't gonna read. Nah, he's here to work. I ain't just business, Shug. Come on, man. Oh, wow. This you working on, cuz. I like this. You sound just like him. For a movie, huh? Yeah, a movie, yeah, man. Does. He's doing big shit. Okay, okay, okay. You think you can get down on it? Almost definitely. Young version. We gotta talk about these contracts. Why you don't talk to Jerry about that shit? I don't want to talk to Jerry. It's your company. You the man. I'll be through that. Who was that? Nobody. Damn. Jerry been... Oh, oh. Dre oh. said he was gonna be here. Don't worry about Dre. Truth be told, you got nothing to do with this. This was gonna happen. Mm. You gonna sign these. Releasing Dre and DOC from Ruthless. Whatever, homie. Think I'm signing that? You crazier than I thought you was. I'm out. I think you're gonna stay here for a while. You sure? Y'all don't scare me. You can talk tough all you want. This ain't no record. Don't make me change you, Eric. Ooh. Oh, damn. Oh, you're just gonna beat his ass. Oh, man. I didn't know this. Oh. Did he sign or? You gonna make him sign at gunpoint? No way. Eric. Jerry put a gun to his head? Jesus oh no. Because he's scared. God, what's going on? Man, are you okay? I gotta kill this for sure tonight. <gasps> no. I just came here to let you know because shit might get a little. I need to stay protected. No, you're not gonna do that. I didn't come here to ask for permission. You do that and you're gonna ruin everything we've worked for you really think i got a choice look at my face i feel like he would be more messed up from what they did to him just release them from their contracts like they want we don't hit back with bullets we hit back with lawyers we drain these assholes that really takes them down i mean about the money jerry about the respect he feels you want to kill somebody you're gonna go to jail forever no more family no more ruthless no more anything if you kill this man his problems will be over and yours will just be beginning Hmm. What the f I gotta be the bigger man. Just release them from the contracts. They can't. They're too greedy. Some greedy ass. Right, Andrew? 
Whatever you say. <laughs> I'll just go with the greedy ass part. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> One, two, three into the boat. Snoop Doggy Dog and Dr. Dre is at the dope. Yeah. Beach together now, you know you in uh -huh. trouble. Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Too low down yeah. niggas. A's man, unfatable, so please don't try and fade this. Damn, discovered a young Snoop, huh? Yeah. Are you anti-Semitic? I'm not anti-Semitic. I'm anti-Jerry Heller. Let me ask you something. Do the JDL condone Jerry's behavior when it comes to my situation? I'm Jewish and I'm okay with what he said. Andrew approved. I'm here to talk about the beating of an unarmed motorist, Rodney King, and four guilty LAPD officers. It's also the LAPD and the FBI who feel that you're negative portrayal of police. You can't treat people like that and expect them not to rise up. I'm a journalist just like you. Seriously. Mm. You're talking to me like I'm some elected official, like I'm running for office. That's your job. The bigger the story, the bigger the check in your field of work. It's not your fault. I shouldn't blame you. What's your name, man? Brian. Eat it, Brian. Get the out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> We cut, please. No, I need to see this interview. I need to see the real one. Well, we just did. <laughs> no, I need to know if that's real. Uh, the real one? Yeah, yeah. I would assume Ice Cube is a producer on this film, is my guess. Yeah. I mean, too, he's got a great relationship with the director, F. Gary Gray, directed Friday, so. You're not having a good time? I had a really good time. I'm Andre. I'm Nicole. Sure. Hey. How you doing? Well, I'd like to have spent a little more time in that conversation. So what do you got today? Heard a John McClain gave you my album. Bruce Willis? I don't know anything about hip hop, but I know that this is special. Hey, look, we love to bring it in this group, but there's a little problem. Ruthless lawsuits and contract. Can't get out of the contract. You give me three weeks and I don't want to hear any bullshit about you shopping this anywhere around town. If you do that, I believe I can solve your problem with the contract. Oh, I'm so curious how he gets them out of the contract. Because mm -hmm. beating the crap out of Easy didn't work, so what's... Easy, man. Yo. Hey, sure, what the f Dude, calm. No, man. It's cool. Dude, it's a parking spot. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Dude, it's a parking spot. whipping him. Yo, 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 yo. Just ask him to move. It's all good. Has delivered its verdict, and not one of the four police officers seen on videotape beating Mr. King a year ago he is guilty of using excessive force. They've all been found not guilty. Jesus. Right. That would create a bunch of riots. I mean, we only have video evidence, sorry. It's probably the worst case of police misconduct that I've ever seen in my life. Devastating to the image of the city and especially to us. Yeah, that's what it was like back then. I like what they're not shying away from it. Wow, Crimson Blood coming together against the police. That's crazy. That was powerful, a powerful image. Wow. Wow. That's wild. I did not know that. Dre rolled out, ruthless money low. Tamika asking me all kind of questions about the house. Let's get you out of the house. I have stuff need your autograph, okay? We still got a business. You right. You're fired. You got knocked the f out. <laughs> Oh, a laptop in we got, 93. We got Damn. Friday. He's writing the script for Friday. You got mm. knocked mm. the out. That's awesome. Love it. And the director directed this. It's meta. That's amazing. Run on a red. Is that sunset? Where are we at? Over five million records sold. All you had to do was not let Jerry manipulate you and let everyone get a piece of the pie. You all would have been so freaking epically rich. Jerry's doing great. Cube's doing great. Elevating his career, both in music and in film, or about to be elevated in film. God, you all would have been stupid rich, but you had to let Jerry manipulate you. I get it. I mean, yeah, you, you had didn't have much before, so I understand the temptation. You know I know the business. Lay out all the files, contracts, whatever it is, and I'll look into it. Mm, for real. Come here. Damn, had that sick house, too. I like you, Andre, but there's a lot going on around you. I know about the whole death row business, the assault charges, the shooting. My son is my world. Yeah, that would be a crazy world from Danger. She's a good woman. Hey, Mary, run quick, see what we have in hell. Is that is that who I think it is? I think it is. Tupac? Yup, 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 yup. I ain't a killer, but don't push me. Revenge Jesus, like looks just like him. 
You know which movie he was in? The actual Tupac. Tell me. Nothing But Trouble, Chevy Chase, directed by Dan Aykroyd, 1991. Jugs, and you got some heat for him. Hell yeah. They play that. Though. Okay. You sound just like him. Hey. I love this song so much. It's one of my favorite songs ever, actually. You feel that? Uh, yeah. With her porn, yeah. You know how to party. California. No, it's a party in the city. Cruelty, ruthlessness. This is what Nicole was talking about. I'd like to make a toast. To what? The death row records. Hey, death row. Death row. And Shug for making all this happen. Jesus. I got Pac in the next mother room working. And y'all ain't here partying? Better watch your mouth, blood. You ain't up but a producer. Get the out of my place. Oh. You don't play all that. You got to be very careful who you let in your life as a manager. Whoa. Okay. That was pretty smooth, not gonna lie. Did this really happen? I feel like a version of it did. Step out of the vehicle. Hands in the air. Hold it right there. Oh, uh -oh. shit. What you mean? I mean, I was just in the neighborhood, man. I came here with all thugs. I was just coming to say what's up. I saw boys in the hood. I gotta watch that one. <laughs> what's up, man? Uh-huh. How you go from selling rocks in the dope house to having dinner in the White House with the president? What? Wow. What? Did he really? You ever think we'd be that big, though? Hell no. Nah. I was just talking to my wife about that, how it was in the beginning. Mm. If we could just take that shit back to 89, we changed the world. I hear you. But if we go do this, we got to do it right. And if Dre with it, I'm with it. Oh, did they have a reunion, NWA? But if you want me, Eric, Jerry can't be there. Seriously. He was choosing Jerry over his boys. Is he smart enough to get out of the contract with Jerry? Because they have a business together, right? These are canceled checks. They all bounced. And these are past due. Jerry took advantage of you. You think? You had to know the truth sometime. Now you do. You know, Dre and Q tried to warn me about this. Bounced checks and... Oh, man. Jerry screwed you. First thing I said about him. He did. <laughs> Do you see him doing something violent towards Jerry? I don't know. Also, I had no idea Easy got cornrows at some point. I would just imagine him with the Jerry curl. Hey, man. Oh. This is going to get ugly. What is this all about? Uh, the groupie? Executive assistant? Did she even go to college? What are you talking about? <laughs> so much smarter than this. Sit there. down, Jerry. I have no idea what's happening, what this is about. Or I know what this is about, but I don't know what he's talking about. Talking about women he was sleeping on? I don't know. Here's what's about to happen. <clears throat> I'm going to get NWA back together, and you ain't going to have nothing to do with it this time. We have worked up a trust, and that trust is our foundation, <coughs> Eric. Some, some, have I covered my end? Do I cover my ass? Absolutely. But don't you dare tell me that I have not taken care of you. <laughs> this is business. This is how f***ed up it can get. But I didn't start this. I didn't f*** it up. You did. Oh. You did. Yeah, he's projecting his own mistakes on him, or his own egoness. You fired, Jerry. Eric, this isn't how we do things. This is not you. This is not you. Fired, Jerry. Awful Done. human. Awful human being. <laughs> yeah, you needed him. He don't need you. Yeah, what up, Jerry? Who this? Eric. He? She still like coffee. Guess Nicole's with him now, or living with him. You know, man, I'm just making tracks, doing my thing. Oh, they're living in a motel or a hotel? Them? Yeah. The house. I talked to Cube and we were talking about some possibility without Jerry Heller type of possibility. Well, it's about time. Yeah. So what you think, man? You think we could get together or what? Yeah, no Jerry, we agree. Let's do it, eh? Let's do it. I'm gonna let you know when we get back into the studio, you know. I'm just worried. Is he okay physically? Like with the coughing. It keeps coming up. <laughs> it's not doing great. Uh, it's getting really bad now. Yeah. Because I mean, we saw at the beginning of the film, I mean, he was a drug dealer, but he's probably doing a lot of those drugs too. I'm trying to murder Dre. <laughs> I'm about to murder both of y'all on the track, though. Check me out. Check me out. What you doing here? You know you don't play no instrument. <laughs> oh, no. Shaking. You got the shaky hands. Damn it. Are you good? 
Đúng rồi I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but uh, you've tested positive for HIV. But I know. Uh, Mr. Wright, actually, um, the virus can be transmitted in quite a few ways, including unprotected heterosexuals. Uh oh. When we start the treatment, I mean, with I gotta get healthy. I got things to do. I got. Oh crap. You are very, very sick. I don't even feel that bad, Doc. Don't That's tell me that. Ways. Oh man. We can probably keep you comfortable for um, maybe six months. I'm, I'll, I'll leave you time to um, process this. Doc, come on, Doc, no. Oh, man, that was so close. Oh, man, poor Eric. We're about to have a reunion. He's about to have a baby. It's, uh, it's Bone Thugs new LP, man. Everybody thinks it's going to be cool when it drops. You want to hear it, man? You, you want to hear it? Yeah, I'll check it out later. This is bullshit, man. Well, Cuban Drake, I'm just saying. There's Trey. Gotta have Cube come after. Oh my God. Jesus. I thought they said six months. Is it maybe time passage has happened? Yeah. Yeah, he's not even awake no more to talk to him. This next NWA album, uh, it's about to be dope. <laughs> hey, you remember that time when uh, we was making boys on the hood? Your non rapping ass was <laughs> tripping out, man. Just trying to hold it together. I love you, eight. You hit me, I love you, man. That's your brother right there, man. Thank you. How is he doing? Can he can he talk? Can he? Nah, oh, man. You know, coma. He's got the machines breathing for him and shit. Y'all came too late. I want to talk to him. I want him to talk to me. It's all right, man. It's, it's good to see you, man. You too. Nah, he didn't see him. We saw him, but he didn't go in. In Los Angeles this morning, Reverend oh, Easy E man. has died after a battle with AIDS. He was among the most powerful voices of his generation. An originator towards the end of his life, the rapper received more than two and a half thousand calls a day. Wow. Easy wrote me a personal letter to read to each and every one of his fans and loved ones. When it comes to AIDS, I would like to turn my own problem into something good and thanks for your support. Devastating. You gotta imagine he got rid of Suge, right? No, Suge's still around, man. No, I'm saying wor working with Suge. It's a loose cannon. See? I'm not a deaf row. You ain't done. Yeah, I'm sure that was public knowledge, but I didn't know that. I'm doing my own thing, Suge. Nobody to answer to but myself. It's time. I like that he's wearing Easy's hat. If you leave, everything we created is mine. You can have it. We'll create new stuff. You even think about touching my money. You can have the artists, the money, the masters, all your bullshit. I'm done. I'm starting my own thing. Still gonna make a crap load of money. You can't put a price on peace of mind. That's right. Yeah. No, you that, cannot. That's a great line right there. Put a price on peace of mind. So what you gonna call that bullshit? Aftermath. Mm-hmm. It's just like they try to hide what's going on and we tell it like it is. Yeah. You see? We make our records based on stuff that's happening where we live, you know? And people out there that don't like it, fuck them. Mm hmm. When I think of NWA, it wasn't really music to me. It was more like a real lifestyle. Brothers from my neighborhood made it out. Mac Hendrick. Oh, man. You got the dopest album out this year. Thanks, man. More than happy to get my career going like I wanted to go. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Yo. Man. Hey, still acting. Still going strong. Drake Direction was helping me become a strong lyricist, which I am now. Oh, Young yo. Snoop. Man, this is dope seeing all of this after the fact. Dre has taught me a lot. Not just rap wise, but business wise. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it just create created an empire. Apple's purchase of Beats will be the biggest deal in its history. Wow. Man, ah, oh, wild. Damn, that shit was dope. Yes, sir. It, oh man. Rest in peace, buddy. Rest in peace, easy. All right, Reject Nation, let's get real for a moment. Running this channel is incredible, but managing finances, especially taxes and budgeting, both for the channel and my personal life, can be overwhelming. That's where Rocket Money has been a financial lifesaver for me, even before I ever partnered up with them. Like I said, I've been very fortunate to be working with brands whose products I already use, so it's a win-win for them. Why? But it can be a win-win for you, too, because there's a reason I use them. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that simplifies managing money by canceling unnecessary subscriptions, lowering bills, 
bills, and crafting a budget that fits your specific lifestyle. For someone like me who can easily lose track of expenses throughout every single day of the month, it's been eye-opening to see where I was overspending, stuff I don't use that I kept paying for, especially apps. Man, I was way too many apps. Rocket Money does the heavy lifting by analyzing your spending, then customizes notifications to help you stay within your budget goals. It's not just about saving money. It's about actively seeing and feeling your financial progress. It's a great feeling. They track your monthly subscriptions too. So many free trials I've signed up for that I forgot to, you know, get rid of before the free trial was done. Making it super easy to cancel the ones you don't use. A couple of clicks and you're putting money back in your pocket. I'm telling you, have you ever found hidden subscriptions or pay for services you forgot about? Because Rocket Money is a huge asset in helping to uncover those and even negotiate some of my bills down to like 20%. So if you're ready to take control of your finances and there's no better time than now because it is the beginning of the year, check out Rocket Money and see how much you could be saving. Stop wasting money on things you do not use. So to help support the channel and help support your wallet, visit rocketmoney.com slash rejects. Rocket Money currently has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. They've helped me and I'm confident they'll do the same for you. That's rocketmoney.com slash rejects. Your bank account will thank you. Hello there, esteemed viewer of The Real Rejects. I, Greg Alba, language connoisseur and worldly gentleman, am here to bestow upon you the secrets of Babbel. Babbel is an engaging language learning app designed for real life conversations, offering quick 10 minute lessons tailored by linguistic experts to effectively teach you a new language. Its conversation based approach enhanced with speech recognition technology makes Babbel worth trying for anyone looking to learn at their own pace, anytime, anywhere. My dear friends, in this age of monolingual mundanity, 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 Babbel is our beacon of hope. Crafted by an army of over 150 language experts, their lessons are like linguistic caviar, rich, refined, and oh so satisfying. Personal tale of triumph. I once whispered sweet nothings in Spanish, or for the layman, Espanol, to my wife, courtesy of Babel. Her reaction, well, I'll tell you, she was utterly bewitched. Greg, you silver-tongued devil. No paraphrase. She exclaimed such vocabulary as I basked in the glory of my perfect pronunciation. Because Babel isn't just about learning words. It's about embracing the art of conversation with podcasts, live classes, and a veritable smorgasbord of interactive lessons. I know the words I'm saying. And their speech recognition? It's like having a personal language butler. Ensuring every syllable is impeccably crisp. Now brace yourselves for an offer of monumental proportions. Here's a special limited, limited, time. limited time. Deal for our viewers and listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription. But again, only for our viewers at babbel.com slash rejects. 55% off at babbel.com slash rejects. Spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash rejects. Rules and restrictions may apply. Join me, the Greg Albin, the adventure of language mastery at Babbel. We shall not just learn no, nay, we shall conquer the world of communication. Or as they say in Spanish, comunicación. <laughs> We're done with this ad. And off topic, but because it happened today, rest in peace, Carl Weathers. Rest in peace, Carl Weathers. We love recording you. Recording this. I don't know when this is getting uploaded, but yeah. rest in peace, Carl Weathers. It's cool if we turn down just a little. Yeah, sorry, yeah, just definitely. a little more. Um, by the way, if you guys are listening to this on Apple or Spotify, uh, if you don't mind giving us a rating, we would really appreciate it. It really does help us out. Oh, Jeff Gary Gray played a character in this movie. Oh, Damn, wow. I didn't even realize it. Um, well, first of all, as we mentioned at the offset, I didn't know too much. I mean, obviously, I know who Ice Cube and, and uh, Dr. Dre were, but I didn't really know much about NWA or the group or anything like that mm -hmm. or how they broke apart. But I thought this was a very riveting uh, and interesting film, and I just thought the story was just extremely interesting and just there was a lot of great themes uh, going on too. Just about uh, you know, just about uh, who you led in your life in terms of managers, and obviously these guys, you know, they came, you know, from a rough uh, time in terms of where they grew up and all that, and obviously they were, had to deal with racial profiling in terms of from the police and all that, which they integrated into their songs in such a great way. But uh, they didn't understand how the business world works, which I get. I don't. I still don't even understand how that works, and I just felt bad, especially for. I mean, Easy -E was so easily manipulated by Jerry, because yeah. uh, that was Jerry's domain, and uh, you know these guys were so happy. Oh my God, we got deals. We're getting. I mean, I mean, these guys were worth fifty times more than what they were getting, and you know, it, basically ego and. Uh, you know, skimming off the top was what broke them apart. You know, they didn't get their fair share of worth. And it sucks. They were just such a great group. Um, and uh, it's it's really sad. Uh, and I was so glad that they were, I mean, again, if this is really what happened, that they were going to get back together. But obviously with what happened with Eazy-E, so sad, so devastating. 
obviously, you know, in real life too, you got to be so careful who you sleep with and have, you know, unprotected relationships with in terms of, uh, but, um, again, very, very riveting and compelling story. And just the group, I was very invested in all these characters. I loved watching, uh, what, you know, how they, uh, for, uh, just how they form their group and just like, especially easy. E. Like, I, I love like what you said at the beginning. <laughs> it was kind of laughable just hearing him at the beginning when we heard him rapping and then just, I love the way uh, Dre, you know, was directing him uh, to his strengths and then, you know, how we saw him uh, become what we see. And then, uh, yeah, just uh, really, really good. The acting was so great. Um, I thought all they were all fantastic. For me personally, if I had to pick one who stood out ab- amongst them all was the actor who played Dre. I thought he was beyond Hawkins, outstanding. Yeah. yeah, he was just unbelievable. They were all great, but he was just the standout for me. Um, but I got a lot more to say. What did you think of the film? Man, I love this movie. I absolutely love this movie. And, you know, it's it's one that's been on my list for a while, you know, because, you know, I'm a, I'm a poet myself outside of doing this stuff on the, the YouTube channel and here on uh, Real Reject. So, mm. you know, I definitely resonate with, with a story of, uh, of artists coming together and, like, artists speaking their voices. So, oh, man, there's just so much about this movie that I really enjoyed. First of all, the acting performances from... I don't know all the, the actors' names, but the guy who played Easy E, mm-hmm. incredible, from he was from great. top to bottom. Coy Hawkins is, is Dr. Dre, amazing. His O'Shea Jackson, I think this is his acting he debut. Really he, he did was, an he amazing really job playing yeah. his father. Well, he grew and up with he, it, but he, he was still up, very good. Yeah, he grew up with him, but he still had to audition for the of role. Of course, his acting is still acting. He, he did great. Yeah, yeah. This movie, uh, as of recording this in 2024, this movie came out in 2015. It was almost 10 years in the making, and yeah, this was a movie definitely worth the wait. Mm. You know, I'm, I'm very grateful that we have the chance to experience it uh, with you guys. So I will say just a couple of critiques out the way before I get into the positive stuff. I really enjoy the fact that this movie, well, no, critiques first. Um I wish we would have got to spend more time with the other members of NWA because mm-hmm. really this movie is focused on Easy on Easy E, Dr. Dre, Cube. and Ice Cube, mm-hmm. and from all accounts, it was like five, sometimes more members of the group. And you know, we see them in the background. Like, luckily, we some of these actors have gotten more notoriety since this movie came out. Right. More specifically, um, Aldous Hodge. And could you remember his name? Exactly. So, you know, they didn't really get a lot of fair, of, fair point of FaceTime in in the movie, and there are just other things. Because I'm just someone who's naturally curious about people, and obviously, the nature of this being a film is focused on NWA, the group, and then I guess the splintering off of um, their different lives and endeavors after the fact of their uh, initial breakup. So I would have liked to know more about Dr. Dre's life and the fact that he had a daughter, which I had no clue about prior watching this movie. Mm-hmm. He had a daughter before all of the fame and notoriety. And, you know, I would have liked to dive more into Ice Cube and his career. The fact that he went from this, a rapper who was in a, another rap group to NWA to then breaking off to his own music, which I didn't even know the, there was this rap beef between them. Um, goes to show my hip hop knowledge, uh, which in the, was in the awesome. early days, which was great. And also, yeah, how what happened to him in the elevation of his career? What what inspired him to go off into acting? I think these are just things that weren't central to the narrative, but me as a viewer were curious about. And that's just a testament to the film of how well it's able to get you invested in these characters, in these real people. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I really like how. Just now to get into my positives, I really liked how this movie was shown from the perspective of the NWA and their relationship to the police. You know, obviously, you know, there's, this is a, this is a film, so things are a little bit heightened, but there definitely was that police brutality going on, uh, both with Rodney King and their individual experiences with it living in Compton. So I like that this movie painted the perspective of what their experience was because it really put you in their shoes to get you behind their music. You know, because even that that one cop who I said looked like Mr. Potato Head <laughs> was they they made reference to that in the song because yeah you you'll have these these uh, these officers trying to you know upstand with their uh, predominantly uh, palm colored uh, comrades. <laughs> 
that's a, that was trying to say. Uh, but anyway, I. I really enjoyed the fact that we got to see their perspective mm-hmm. and we got to explore that. And I liked that it didn't shy away from the authenticity of the experience and their history because, you know, they produced this movie, uh, I believe Dr. Dre and Ice Cube, and, and Ice Cube mm-hmm. you know. So granted, I feel like they never painted them directly in a bad light, but I do I'd like I do like how they honored the authenticity of the division that happened between them in their youth. I also would have liked to have seen, because you you see that as they kind of spread apart, Ice Cube goes in his direction, Dr. Dre goes in his direction, Easy es doing his thing. And we know that Ice Cube and Easy e have this beef together. We know that Easy e and Dr. Dre were having contention in their relationships after Dr. Dre found out what was happening with the finance aspect mm-hmm. of things. But I would li- would have liked to known what Dr. Dre and Ice Cube's relationship was like at that time. Were they still cool in spite of the fact that they went off in different directions? Because they didn't, he didn't go to his record label with Priority. Mm-hmm. No, what was it, Priority? Was that the Priority Records? I think so. Started with a P. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there was, there was that aspect of things. And yeah, like I said, I... I was on the ride from start to finish, and obviously, uh, Easy died at 31, and Ice Cube and Dr. Dre are still around with us. And this is a two and a half hour movie, and you can only display so much of the of totality of somebody's life yeah. and experiences within a two hour film, two yeah. and a half hour film. But I feel like it did a great job of putting us in there with NWA and doing it from an authentic place. They didn't try to paint them as heroes. Like they got down and dirty, and they, they, they acknowledged that. They didn't try to paint Ice Cube as. This uh, this whiny, this shining piece of uh, of glory, or 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 in like a pure light. Like he went in there and he stood he, up for himself. He stood up for himself. Yeah. He was smashing stuff in the when he wasn't getting his proper money. And I was yeah. like, yeah. I feel like some people would look at that and be like, whoa, like like we're getting hostile for or whatnot. I feel like I mean, he but got- he was he was in his right. You know, because he stood up for what he knew was right. I feel like this movie definitely displays that Ice Cube has always been a man of integrity yeah. and of business. And I really, I really liked and respected Yeah, him. for sure. Again, I have no idea if that was just dramatization or whatnot. I am not in any way, shape, or form a violent human being. And obviously, he did not cause violence. He was just messing up the, uh, the office without physically touching uh, the executive. But he already had been previously screwed over uh, by Jerry and... In essence, I guess Easy E because Easy E was just letting Jerry do whatever he wanted. So Paul, Paul Giamatti was great too. Yeah, Paul Giamatti was fantastic, uh, and that was cool to again see him and F. Gary Gray work again together after they had done 1998's Negotiator. But I understood uh, why Cube was so damn fr- I mean, he had that conversation with that executive again, and uh, he gave him his word. Uh, at that point, I would have said, "Dude, we we need a contract after <laughs> what happened the first time." But uh, again, a man is only as good as his word. Uh, again, I, I really like that they were shining a fact on just like, uh, and I kind of already spoke about this uh, a little earlier at the beginning of this review, but you got to be so damn careful. Not only who you let in your life just in general, but just especially on the, the business side. Yeah. I mean, especially when you're worth so much, you can just get screwed over so badly. Uh, I mean, you had two two different sides of it. You had obviously what Jerry was doing uh, to the group. I mean, you, you had what he was doing to Easy and the regu- uh, the other guys in the group. And then also you had, like, once Dre broke apart and he had Suge, right? Yeah, Suge uh, Knight. Now, Suge, it didn't seem like he was screwing him, like, financially, but he was creating a hostile environment. Yeah. And, you know, I got to say, one of my favorite lines in the film, which uh, I believe I displayed during the reaction, you know, there's no price for peace of mind. Nope. And that was such a powerful damn line. I mean, because it also, too, like, when uh, he was trying to, you know, be in a relationship and have Nicole move in with her, uh, with uh, him, Dr. Dre, and uh, she said, like, I know all about, like, the crap that goes on outside of our relationship, and it's like, you know, that made Dre, like, look within himself, like, like what other kind of environment am I being around that's, you know, outside my work, and that wasn't cool with him, uh, and, like, he wasn't okay with that, and, um, you know, I, that was just such a damn power, you know, you had the scene where uh, Cube, like, came in and Broke, uh, smashed up the the executive's office, but I love that scene too Seems with great. with Dre and Suge. Like, just like, hey, I'm not afraid of you. You can have everything. I don't care. I believe in myself. Same with Cube. Like, hey, I don't need no seventy five thousand dollar check. I believe in myself, and right, like, right, love right. that theme of believing in yourself. 
Um, because they were, I mean, these guys were worth so much and they're so damn talented. They were. And they love their Art. music. Yeah, they believe in what they do and they know that the mo- people love them and the money's going to be there. So mm-hmm. whatever, you want to have you know, my, my clients and my money, it's all good. I'll go create something else. You can have it. So Yeah. I also like how the movie displayed the... Well, there's two sides of it. I liked how they weren't afraid to speak their authentic truth to their experiences, mm-hmm. no matter how much pressure from either side that they were getting. They were going to say what they had to say because yeah. that's what they believed in. That's what was right. And I feel like as, as artists, it's a, it's important to display, to, to display yeah. that, that authenticity. Um, yeah. I think it, it, it's your, your duty, you know, as a, as a creative to just display your experience in a, in an authentic light. And because those things that you are able to share that that's going to resonate, you know, that, that those things are going to, help somebody in in ways that are not foreseen you know Mm, yeah and so there's there's that aspect of things and i liked the the authenticity and the way that their group for the culture was um kind of an anthem during this time because you know they we needed somebody to i guess corral or or um like an anthem, I, I suppose, in this yeah. time of, of of um abuse, in this time of um unjust behavior. Yeah, it was terrible. And also kind of just uh, piggybacking a little off what you just said, where how much they were able to squeeze into two and a half hours, which I thought was they did a great job. It's also kind of the Harry Potter thing where there's only so much of the book you can fit into two and a half hours. Yeah, you know what I mean? People's lives. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So my point I'm trying to make is I would love, I'm sure there's documentaries and YouTube videos, I, I, I and I'm going to make it a point of contention that after we you know, finish this, uh, I want to watch some documentaries on this and get oh, yeah. to explore more time because I, I'm so fascinated by this story. Obviously, again, I've watched many Ice Cube films um, and I've heard you know a few songs of uh, Dre, so I, I know a little bit about those guys. But uh, just this story and the group and everything, it's just I'm so much more fascinated now after watching this movie. And last thing I want to say, I really love that F. Gary Gray uh, put into meta things uh, in the film, which obviously we know happened in real life. One of them, which was uh, um, a Cube coming up with the script for uh, Friday, and then he was writing that line. And I just love that F. Gary Gray is directing that, and then he directed Friday as he's directing this. And then obviously you have the By Felicia line, which again was in Friday, which again F. Gary Gray directed. I just I love that meta stuff. It's just, I, I'm always so appreciative of stuff like that. But uh, overall, great film, great acting. Uh, the songs just again resonated with the time that they were in. It's disgusting the display that. Uh, you know, what was happening with the police, just racial profiling, mm-hmm. uh, stuff we still got to deal with today, just awful stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, just overall great film, uh, just a- amazing story. Um, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, no, I really enjoyed it as well. I thought it was an authentic experience and display of what it was like during that time. I wish we would have gotten more time or more focus on the other members of NWA. Yeah. But ultimately I agree. the that's, people that's that we, point. we did focus on, um, yeah. they did a really good job of portraying them. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that those small criticisms aside, I would give this movie an 8.5 out of 10. I absolutely loved it. Yeah. And I'm so happy that I've seen it. And yeah, I can't wait to talk about it with the people I have uh, who People I know who have seen it and really do my own deep dive of NWA. Let's say history. you finally seen it now. I don't believe. I finally you. Like, see it. it only took uh, me I'll show 10 you. Years. It's on the internet. I can show you. I've seen it now. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we got some fun little trivia facts here, Aaron. Okay. That okay. we're gonna read off from straight out of Compton. Hit me with them. So the letter that the FBI sent to NWA can be seen at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, Ohio. Really? Yes. Oh, that's dope. Yes. I love that. Okay, it's I feel like that was that was something that was true. Yeah, of course. I, I'm sure there's a good amount of the film that was. I mean, that was probably. I mean, you know, there's always, like you said, a certain thing that's dramatized. But when Ice Cube is complaining to Brian about not yet having received his money, he exclaims that he has a baby on the way. Cube was in fact talking about O'Shea Jackson Jr., who was his firstborn in 1991, meaning oh, that O'Shea wow. Jackson—he was talking about himself during that scene. Oh, I wasn't trip. even thinking about that. That's oh, amazing. That is so meta. This movie is more meta, meta than it realizes. I love it. Yeah, oh my god, that—that's that, awesome. That's so trippy and awesome at the same time. That's great. 
The original cut of this film was three hours and 30 minutes. Whoa. The cutscenes included Dr. Dre's infamous beating of journalist D. Barnes. What? The incident where Dre was shot four times in the leg. What? And a graphic flashback of his younger brother's death. Ooh, yeah, okay. Oh, Obviously, we saw, uh, well, we were told about his younger brother, oh. but I did not know about the other two I events. Had so no I, idea that he did that. In real yeah, life. that I did not know either. Um, they should have put that in the movie. I don't know yeah, where it would have fit in, I but mean, they should have been I'm in there. I'm sure there's, if you bought the Blu-ray or the DVD, I'm sure those deleted scenes were possibly included. Let us know in the comments section. Yep. Uh, the actual scratching when Dre is on the turntables was done by DJ Jazzy Jeff. Ah, that's awesome. Mm. Yeah, because they were also around during that time, but making very different kind of music. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Not gangster rap. Making a fun rap about uh, how parents don't understand and the summertime. Well, that came a little later. But yeah, very different kind of vibe than NWA was putting out. So this movie inspired Dr. Dre to secretly record his first album in 16 years, set to release on August 17th, 2015. The, al uh. the album's name is Compton, a soundtrack, and he tweeted it as his grand finale. Wow. Just needed a little inspiration, I guess, right? I wonder if that was true. Did he actually have a grand finale after that? Did he did he make music after that? I don't know. I'm that I, I, I should know more about Dr. Dre. I know that he made beats and this movie taught me a lot, but yeah, I'm oh, gonna Oh, you gotta hear you gotta hear this one. You ready for this one? Hit me with it. Easy E son, Lil 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 Easy Easy. Did I say that right? L I L Lil Lil. Where is it? Where's the fact? L I L. Lil Easy E? Yeah, Lil Easy E had auditioned for... The, I know, sorry guys. Lil Easy E <laughs> had auditioned for the role of his father, but according to Ice Cube, it just didn't work out. Aww. Lil Easy was upset at first, but eventually became involved in coaching actor Jason Mitchell, who portrays his father in the film. Lil Easy, let's look him up. Let's see what he looks like. It would. I'm sure it would have been, like, you know, amazing for him oh, to be in the role. Okay. The, I'm sure it would have, again, I'm sure it would have been heartfelt and nice, but at the end of the day, you still got to act. It's not an easy thing to do. Um, and O'Shea Jackson he Jr. was really fantastic. don't look like his dad. No? No. All right, we'll read you a couple more, guys. Let's see. Oh, damn. What? O'Shea Jackson Jr. prepared for two years to portray the role of his father wow. partially because ice cube didn't want the appearance of nepotism in casting mm -hmm. hey fair deal i mean you gotta hey you want this you gotta work for it exactly. i love that that's a good lesson for for family yeah he's had great career sense i mean look like ice cube didn't get anywhere on nepotism so it's like no. hey i didn't get anywhere in nepotism you're not going to that's i right. like it i like that he's a man of integrity yes man of honor Dre breaking down from hearing his brother's death was one of the first scenes shot in the film. According Whoa. to F. Gary Gray, the real Dr. Dre broke down and left the set after the second take. Oh, man. Jesus. Yeah, I'm oh, sure that brought man. back memories for him that he didn't want to. I mean, because we were talking while we were reacting that you're like, I wonder if Dre's like gotten peace from because he felt obviously guilty about not bringing him out to Miami and not yeah. watching over him. So I wonder That's... if he feels a sense of like, hey, I've forgiven myself. I don't feel as as That's guilty or brother. guilty anymore it's my it's yeah but his brother's always gonna be his brother of yeah. course but then watching that scene being filmed it's like oh my god this is bringing back memories right now yeah, yeah. all right we'll give you guys what two should we do two more sure yeah two okay, more. okay we'll good. do two more let me find some good ones here all right this one seems good F. Gary Gray, who we all know, directed Friday, also directed the video to Ice Cube's most famous song, It Was a Good Day, alongside Friday, which, oh, wow. was, which was written by Ice Cube as well. Okay, so they obviously have an amazing relationship. Mm -hmm. That's uh, good. I didn't know that. Oh. Today. All right. Everyone's day. favorite person, Jerry Heller. Jerry what Heller, to him? Jerry, oh, I don't know if it's, uh, here, let's read this. Jerry Heller described how he viewed Easy es thug persona as self-forged armor in his book ruthless a memoir heller's description of compton where easy -E and the other nwa group members lived was that no one survived on the streets without a protective mask no one survived naked you had to have a role you had to be thug player athlete gangster or dope man otherwise there was only one role left to you victim 
sad. Yeah. Um, the infamous role by Felicia was just an ad lib along with Ice Cube forcefully pushing her out. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Funny. Uh, okay. I right, yeah, one more. I think we got You want to do one more? Okay, sure. let's see. So this was the highest grossing music biopic until 2018 when a film I have not seen, Bohemian Rhapsody, grossed over $901 million. I think this movie's better than Bohemian Rhapsody. I haven't seen it, so I, I will just say, okay. This movie's great. Hmm. Bohemian Rhapsody's good, though. Rami, Mal- Rami Malek was really good in the role. But yeah, this movie... Damn, oh, la- on a different level. last one, O'Shea Jackson Jr. had to consume 1,200 calories a day and lost 15 pounds in 22 days. Wow. That's 15 pounds in 22 days? I'm not, I don't know. That's that's uh, that's quite a lot to accomplish. I'm not saying he didn't Feet. do it, but that is uh, quite a lot. Anyways, let us know if there's any other cool, fun facts that we Put didn't read. Re- the yeah, because there's a bunch more we could have read off. It just might have taken another 20 minutes. But yeah, let us know if there's anything other uh, cool that we did not mention. Thank you so much for watching and being part of this journey with us. We greatly appreciate it. And yeah, let us know what is your favorite NWA song in the comments there. And hope you have a good day. 